Hi, welcome back. Now, you may or may not have heard of the, the 1950s game Lawn Jarts. But let me introduce you to Rocket Jarts. So, Rocket Jarts is a stylized lawn jart. It has similar style fins, uh, an aluminum body, and a steel nose cone similar to what was on the original lawn jarts. The only difference is that this one has a cartridge at the back that'll accept a A through D size rocket engine. This project is inherently dangerous and should not be duplicated. I am what you might call a professional expert. And don't think that I just printed this out on my computer and then laminated it with packaging tape for the sake of this bit. Let's get on with the build. All our pieces and parts are cut out. Let me bring you in here and show you what we have. So up top here we have our three fins. These are all 16, yeah, I think that's a 16th inch uh, ABS piece of plastic. And then to mount the fins, we just have a, a tube that slides over our, oh, tube that slides over there. So this is our center shaft. And this we just turned down out of aluminum, threaded each end. And then we have our tip, which was just made out of an old bolt. So we cut off the head of the bolt, drilled and tapped the back, and then shaved down the threaded section into a point. So then that'll just thread on there. And then the back here, this is a piece of nylon, and that's just threaded too, so that'll thread on there. And this gets glued in the back there. And then here is our slide tube. That'll get mounted, something like there. I think we're ready to start gluing. Jarts, also referred to as javelin darts, yard darts, or missile game, is the precursor to today's bag toss or cornhole. Players stand at a set distance and throw the object into a ring. Scoring points is similar, but Instead of a soft bag of beans, it's a foot-long steel-pointed dart. Jarts were banned in the U.S. twice, once in 1970, then again in 88. The jart has enough mass to penetrate a human skull, and thus was deemed not fit for sale. Jarts are also responsible for an estimated 6,100 emergency room visits from 1980 to 88. While jarts were invented in the 1950s, it was based on a 500 BC weapon of war called the plumbata. Turning a weapon into a yard game doesn't sound like a great idea. I'd still argue it's safer than grenade tag. So the back half of our cartridge holder just thread in here. Seems pretty good. And our wing assembly can go on. And then I'm gonna throw a couple of these like little O-rings on here just to act as a, a bumper. So when this thing hits the ground, it takes some of the shock out. And I think that should be pretty good. We 
can start mounting this and we do have a series of holes drilled in the edge here so that you can adjust the angle. So we could still use this as a regular rocket launcher. So if we want to just shoot it straight up in the air, we can do it in that pen. Or if we want to put it off at an angle for doing the jart, we can do that too. And we'll just drop our glass plate on there. So far, this thing turned out pretty awesome. Um, next thing to see is does it work awesome? So let's go find a field and test this out. Rocket Jart prototype test launch in 99, 98, 97, just kidding, 3, 2, 1, Three, two, one. launch on the D12 in three, two, one. Uh, ignition failure? Well, it did stick in the ground and the rocket ejected, so. All right, it's cold out here. Not definitely, a, definitely not a winter game, but uh, I couldn't wait till summer to test it out. So it works. It's uh, not accurate, that's for sure. Until next time, take care.